Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and today I am going to dis uh, discuss the problem verifying an alien dictionary index number is 953 and the problem is of easy type of lead code. Okay, So if you are aware of the actual problem of this alien dictionary it was like uh, we have been given a sorted list of strings which is actually a list of strings of an, any dictionary and we need to find any valid order of characters satisfying this dictionary of strings okay so that problem was actually very complex because it requires the concept of topological sorting on the directed graph and we need to find any valid topological sorting so that problem becomes much more complex but in this problem the problems becomes much more easier because we have been given a valid uh, string of characters and we need to find whether there uh, we need to find this uh, list of strings of words is of is in sorted order or not with the help of this string of characters okay so we have to check only this one if it exists yeah, that is if it is true return true otherwise return false okay so let's uh, head over to the example to understand how we are going to find the efficient solution regarding this problem okay so let's move further so okay here i have taken a two uh, list of strings containing only two words I need to check if this list is, is in sorted order or not. Okay, let's say in, in the list uh, uh, by default you can say S1, S2, S3 and let's say S4 are the four strings that exist in this list of strings of words and we need to check if this uh, list is in sorted order or not with the help of this characters. So how we are going to do that? So it is simple. If the entire uh, list of words should be in sorted order, it means that adjacent characters must also be in sorted order. And so we need to only check if S1 is going to be less than or equal to S2 and it should be less than or equal to S3 and it should be less than or equal to S4 or not. Okay. So we need to check that efficiently with the help of this mapping of characters okay what what does this term mapping of characters okay it basically means h comes before l and all the characters that are to the right of it okay so let's find it out if this hello is going to be less than or equal to lead code or not okay so let us write first hello and let's write lead code okay so if i am going to ask you that uh, what is the first character of both these strings you can see it is h and it is l for the second character so check it out if h is going to be less than l or not yes it is less than l note that first i am going to check it is strictly less than l or not yes it is strictly less than l then we can easily say hello comes before the lead code and what about if uh, if if we have the terms like okay so let me erase this stuff now then I am going to modify the first character only. Okay, let us say if I have the terms like uh, H over here in spite of L. So if H is over here, so I am going to first check if H is going to be strictly less than this H or not. So but H is going to be exactly equal to H. So if certain characters at a particular instant of the string or you can set a particular index of the string is going to be exactly equal we need to check uh, the further strings to the right of it that is further characters to the particular index to the right of it okay now uh, if this is going to be equal that is like uh, if we have certain strings let's say hello hello is my first string and my second string is also hello that is this is s1 and this is s2 and you can say this these two uh, strings are going to be exactly equal if these two strings are going to be exactly equal I need to check the condition like if s1 length is going to be greater than s2 length then it should return false because in a sorted order of dictionary if two words are going to be like exactly same or you can say one word is going to be like prefix of some another word then the length of the smaller word should come earlier in the dictionary order that is also you can understand this with the help of uh, another example like first string is coming out to be app and second string is coming out to be apple then you can easily say this app must lie earlier in the list of string of words and this apple must lie after this app word okay so if we have been given a uh, two strings like we have to check the consecutive strings first check the 
corresponding index of the characters and if at any time you find the in this mapping of characters that is a, a, the particular character s1 of i is going to be like less than strictly less than s2 of i then you can easily claim that yes my first character is always lie on the uh, that is earlier than the second character and it is true and what about if you find uh, like this one okay so let me erase this one also and if you find like this one s1 of i exactly equal equal to s2 of i like in this case you are going to see this a is going to coincide with this a this p is going to coincide with this p and this p is going to be coincide with p and now the further uh, characters of the first string is exhausted now you need to check finally if s1 length is going to be less than or equal to s2 length or not then it is okay we need to check further strings of words in the list of strings okay and if it is not okay return false that here that the uh, return false at that moment okay and uh, what about at uh, any instant starting from the left side like uh, if you have uh, in spite of a if you had like b b p p then you can see if b is going to be strictly greater than a then at at that time you uh, you are going to just return that it is not going to be possible okay and now you can see we need to work according to this mapping of characters okay uh, so how we are going to do that it is simply just maintain a 26 size vector that is uh, the position of h is going to be at 0 and position of l is going to be like 1 and position of A is going to be like 2 and position of B is going to be like 3 and so on. And if we need to check this condition S1 of i and S2 of i, I need to check the values that I have got after mapping. You can see values of H will become 0, values of L will become 1, values of A will become 2 and values of B would become 3 and so on. We need to check that value. We need to compare that value. Okay. So let's move on to the code part now to understand this problem in a much simpler way uh, further. Okay, so let's move further. Okay, you can see I have taken n as the length of the string of characters and here it is 26 that is nothing but uh, size of 26 vector mapping of like character and it is like uh, character to index okay and we are going to store the position of the characters okay so to check if certain character is going to lie in uh, earlier than the other character or not okay so it is like just a store of order of i minus this uh, ascii value and it is exactly equal to the index okay so I, I am going to check check the words of the string are in order or not how we are going to do that we are going to check just check the consecutive characters okay so I have taken a flag variable so I am going to also tell what this flag variable is going to do so first I have taken the first word and its adjacent word that its words of i plus 1 and you are going to check if s1 is going to be lexicographically smaller than s2 or not ok. So just iterate over this uh, minimum length minimum of s1 length and s2 length and going to check if at a certain instant that is the index that is the mapped value of that particular character of both the strings at that particular index is going to be like. Uh, first uh, mapped value is going to be strictly less than the second mapped value it means that it is okay that is it is okay that uh, we are going to have the first string as the line earlier in dictionary with respect to the second string and it is okay because mapped value that is you can see store of s1 of j minus this ascii value of a is going to be strictly less than then it is okay because uh, one of the string that is s1 string is going to lie earlier than s2 string then mark flag as true and we are going to break okay and what about uh, at any instant uh, this if condition is not going to true and we have found this condition like a store of s1 of j that is mapped value of that particular index of that character is going to be strictly greater than the mapped value of that particular character at that particular index we are going to return false indicating that this s1 uh, must lie on the like must lie after this s2 but now it is lying earlier and this is not possible according to the given order of the characters okay and uh, what about if uh, flag is still false 
and none of the conditions like if and this if is going to be true. It means that one uh, S1 is going to be a prefix of this S2. Then we need to check if uh, S1's length is going to be strictly greater than S2 length, then it will not be possible that the given string of words of uh, you can say given string of words list of words is not in a sorted order then return false here at is, as it is okay and otherwise in all the cases return true so let's submit this code and check it out if this is going to work fine or not okay it is good so if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and do subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you for watching this video.